Hello and welcome to another video workshop for Blender 2.5 and beyond. This video workshop is put together for students in the Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences. And uh, in this video tutorial, uh, we're going to draw upon skills that we've learned from uh, previous video workshops. Um, but we're also going to investigate uh, modeling with modifiers, as well as uh, explore the concept of symmetry um, when we are uh, developing 3D models. Um, just going to get rid of this uh, mesh cube, default cube, and add a UV sphere. Um, as many of us know, um, in um, the real world, there's uh, symmetry all around us. There's symmetry in nature, there's symmetry in art, there's symmetry in architecture. And if we're going to uh, attempt to simulate or accurately represent the real world, um, we need to um, acknowledge when symmetry is present in a model that we are attempting to create. Um, so there's some modifiers that can help us along with that and we're going to look at these modifiers today because we are going to create a butterfly. Now I don't think this is necessarily the best way to create a butterfly but I think um, a butterfly unfortunately was all I could come up with to kind of show you everything that I want to show you um, in this video workshop. So here's a UV sphere, hopefully everyone's added that now and we're going to scale this UV sphere down to Add, uh, to be like the shape of uh, an insect or the body, the shape of a, a the body of an insect or a butterfly. Um, for many, for those that don't know, butterflies are insects. Um, so uh, you know we're going to push S for scale. We know S for scale. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using um, my axes a little bit in this uh, modeling process today. So yes, I do want to scale my object down, but I just want to scale it down along the Z axis at first. So I'm going to push the Z key. And that's telling Blender, hey, yes, I do want to scale, but just scale it along the z-axis. So I'm going to scale it down. It's very similar to those manipulator tools. You know, you click this manipulator tool, and I just click the green one and scale it along there. It's just another way of doing it. Remember I told you um, in Blender there's many ways of doing um, things. So I'm just going to um, use these. Now I've opened them to kind of like scale this body down. So here's uh, the body of um, my butterfly. Now I'm just going to add another UV sphere and uh, turn this into the head. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to have add the legs to our butterfly. So I'm going to click on view and I'm going to click bottom. And I'm going to add the legs. Um, how we're going to do this is we're going to uh, click add mesh. We're going to add a circle. Um, as I've said in previous tutorials, so much of modeling is kind of like using that E extrude key and kind of like uh, adding loop cuts. I'm not going to be adding loop cuts in this in this tutorial, but we are going to do, be doing lots of extruding. Now, um, as you can see uh, here, my um, my circle is uh, flat along the y-axis. I'm just going to rotate it now. Um, so I'm going to click R for rotate, and I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to click on the Y key and I'm going to push 45 and you can see that my circle rotated 45 degrees along the y-axis. Unfortunately it went the wrong way um, but that doesn't matter. For now I'm just going to click this spin it around the right way. But that's another way you can use those axes um, if you want. So we got um, our leg um, finding the location for our leg now. So once you're happy with the location of the leg, what you're going to do is you're going to switch into edit mode. So you can click tab for edit mode. Um, and I'm just going to extrude this leg out a bit. So I'm going to click um, E for extrude. Um, but actually, E for extrude. And then I'm going to click Z because I want to just extrude it along the uh, Z axis. So there, E for extrude. Um, then if you want, we can click R to rotate that. And we're just going to rotate it along the Z axis. Um, 45, or excuse me, not along the z-axis, on the y-axis. Now I'm going to click E for extrude again. And uh, the dangers of me not uh, using the axis or an axis when I'm extruding is that when you're working in that 3D environment, see how this leg is now a little bit off? 
gone to the side a bit. We want to try and keep it straight um, for this tutorial. Just going to close it off now. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to close it off. You could play around with that leg and keep extruding it, but for this video tutorial, I don't want to spend too much time playing around with that. But hopefully you get the concept, e for extrude, and you kind of rotate it, reposition it, and extrude it out a little bit more. So if you was doing like a... Um, if you was creating a scorpion and creating a scorpion's tail, this would kind of be a fun. To, uh, that would be kind of a fun model to experiment with this E for extrude, rotate, E for extrude, rotate, scale, etc., etc. So once we're happy with our uh, the leg of our insect, our butterfly, as I said, I think insects have six legs. I think spiders have eight. So we need to create six of these legs. We're going to add some modifiers now, or rather, add um, one modifier. Um, to um, add three legs this side and then we're going to use a technique that we learned in a previous video tutorial when we was adding rose petals to kind of uh, add the three legs on the other side so once we're happy with this one leg we're going to take this one leg and we're going to kind of uh, have this one leg repeated five additional times so to do that um, I need to make sure we're in edit mode I'm going to select, a, um, select all of my objects and I'm going to go over and add a modifier in my properties panel. So we were introduced to modifiers in the last two tutorials, I believe. And it's this uh, spanner icon here. I click on it. I'm going to add, mod add the modifier. And as you know, when you add a modifier to a shape, it's kind of um, adding some mathematical algorithm in the background. It's adding additional geometry to your model. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click on the array modifier. Now you might want to take some time to play around with the array modifier. It's a really great modifier. I think it's a modifier that could be used uh, a, a number of ways for a number of different models. Um, you know, uh, inside each modifier, there's um, additional um, settings that you can change that um, you know apply the modifier differently with different uh, geometry to it. Um, in the array modifier, the count is basically how many times you want to replicate. Um, your active object. So if I click three, which as we know it, it is going to be three, but you can click four or five, you know, you can repeat this how many times you want. And so for example, um, you can see how this could be a ladder, um, but you can also play around with the positioning, um, you know, how far away they are, what's the distance um, between each of these replicated objects. You can uh, move it along the axes. So here you can see what I mean about um, you know, a set of stairs. I could see you creating a set of stairs this way, even a ladder this way. Um, so that's the modifier. So play around with that. I'm just going to um, put count to three and I'm going to kind of like get my legs in position that I want them to be in. Um, I'm actually just going to be using the y-axis So there's my six legs added to one side of my butterfly using the array modifier. Again, these legs aren't necessarily perfect, but I'm not going to waste too much time in this video workshop trying to get them perfect. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, use a, pre a technique we've done in a previous video tutorial. And we're going to work with this active object because this is the only object that's active. These two are just uh, kind of like uh, replicates, replicates. Um, Repl replications of this object. So here's this. Just put that 3D cursor in the location. So once we've got the uh, the cursor in a position that we're happy with, um, we want to make sure that we select pivot point. We're going to pivot around the 3D cursor. We want to duplicate our object and uh, Shift D to duplicate that object. And then we're going to pivot around the cursor, which basically we're just going to open up our manipulator tools and pivot around 
our 3D cursor and you can see now that we have legs on the other side. Now all you've basically done is made one duplication of this leg and you've pivoted, uh, you've rotated that leg around the pivot point which is the 3D cursor but because the array modifier has been applied um, you can see that um, this new leg has two additional legs that replicate it as well. So now we've got our six legs um, for our butterfly um, that have been created, um, once you get the hang of it, would be created very quickly just using a simple modifier tool. Now we're going to add the wings and we're going to introduce another, another modifier called the um, mirror modifier. So to do this, I'm going to come out of edit mode. Now that's important, we want to come out of edit mode um, because if you add an, a mesh when you are in edit mode, that mesh will now have a direct relationship. It will be connected to the other meshes that are applied in that edit mode. And that means that if I add any mesh right now, it will the array modifier will be applied to that mesh as well. So we don't want that. We need to come out of edit mode, back to object mode, and we need to add um, another um, circle. So we've got our, our other circle now added in object mode need to S scale it down and this is going to be our wings and I remember actually drawing uh, butterfly wings um, when I was in elementary class uh, in a similar way with the circles I'm actually going to um, just change this uh, the central point back to the active element and then move this circle um, over in fact let's go to view top so we can view it from the top so we've got our uh, circle in the middle of our uh, butterfly's body what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a modifier, click add, and I'm going to click on the mirror modifier. I have to go into edit mode so I can see the um, effects of this mirror modifier. Again, uh, we've got a new set of uh, controls in this modifier. Um, feel free to play around with those controls, Y and Z um, axis. If I click on these and click on this and then just move, um, or sorry. You can't see it because over this icon, um, this um, allows the modifier basically to be seen, to be applied. So right now this is a uh, grayed out. And you just click on that so you can see the effect. So up here there's some icons um, that usually associated with uh, when you can see the modifier. Is the modifier going to be included during render? So for example, this over here, this, this camera icon, if you click that off, when you come to render, the modifier will not be applied. So I want to make sure that's on because I do want it to be applied. But you can see here, if I move this up here, you can see that I've got um, uh, some kind of reflection happening along all of uh, my three axes. But I just want to turn the z-axis off because I don't want that one. Um, but I do want the other two on because when I do this, you can see now that I've got uh, my butterfly wings. Now what we do need to do is they are um, circle meshes, so we need to add a face to these meshes. To do this, I'm just going to push E to um, uh, extrude and then we're going to extrude along the x-axis and, and I'm going to actually S for scale um, along the x-axis and I'm going to scale in now we've kind of like created our wings for our butterfly and they are symmetrical because we've used the mirror modifier now, um, feel free to play around. If you want to add some antennae to your uh, um, butterfly, you can. You can also um, select, um, push the C key and select some part of the wing. And then remember O for um, uh, optional proportional fall off. Pull that up. Um, we'll just get some shape to our wings. Click on the edge. Play around with the wings a little bit if you wish. So there's our wings. If you want, you can um, add some antennae to your butterfly. Um, but I'm actually just going to move this uh, workshop forward a little bit because what I want to do is something that we haven't done is just show you how to join all of your objects. So we've got lots of mesh objects in our scene now. All of them are part of the butterfly, but they've got different modifiers on and things like that. First one, I need to click on Apply now. Um, you need to apply all of those modifiers. So I click on this. Click on the word Apply. Until you've applied those modifiers, and I actually applied to your object. So Make sure you apply all of those modifiers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, select, holding down the shift key, all of the objects in our scene. And then we're going to join them. So you can use the command J key, or if you've gotten it, push S, 
join um, S bar well, that brings up your search tool control J or just click on J for join and you join all of these mesh objects into one object now now you've got your butterfly um, and as I said maybe yours looks a lot better than mine does just want to very quickly introduce you to uh, one other um, modifier in this video workshop. I'm going to click on camera mode and try and put this butterfly into our scene a little bit better. What I'm going to add is I'm going to add a tree, um, but um, we're going to uh, uh, add this tree. We're going to uh, use the mirror modifier again, um, but I am also going to um, show you one other modifier. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to click here, add mesh circle, and uh, click in the edit mode, E for extrude. Got to add a mirror modifier. Got to modify. Um, click on that so it's seen. Just move this out a little bit. Maybe do all four actually. I've never tried that with all four. Um, take the Z off. Just move it along a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do E for extrude. I'm going to extrude it up along the Z axis. And there we go. Select all so I can just move it. Oh, excuse me. Just come out edit mode back into object mode. Just want to move it away from my butterfly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another modifier now. Um, called a simple deform. Um, you know, in nature things aren't perfect. So I'm going to actually add some uh, loop cuts now. Let's be in edit mode. Some loop cuts. Remember we said lots of loop cuts are added in, in Blender. So add some loop cuts, maybe three or four. And uh, what this does is it allows you just to twist and bend your objects. We'll click four. Play around with this one. And so here's a, a render of our image. There's the butterfly um, there. And uh, here's us playing around with what could be a tree or a stalk.